Hydration is one of the most important things you can do for your body. Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke, and today we're talking about water. So there's this, you know, people have talked about giving a, a required amount of water that you're supposed to drink. Well, it's, it's bigger, right? But a required amount of water that you're supposed to drink. Um, I don't track my water that much, um, at least by like the fluid ounce or anything. <clears throat> but what I found is that if I have a cup in the morning on an empty stomach, and then I have a cup with every meal, so a cup like a normal pint size, 16 ounces, uh, that gives me about four, four to five uh, pints of water every day, then I'm generally doing pretty well. My cells are pretty hydrated and everything. If I am going for a pretty intense workout and I'm gonna sweat a lot, or if I have to talk in front of a camera or in front of a group of people a lot, I know I'm gonna blow off a lot more of my water and maybe I need to drink a little bit more. That rule to me, that little just standard thing that I do has really taken care of all of my hydration stuff. I highly recommend it. Anyways, there's another thing that I want you to pay attention to. And that is your pee. So if I if I go to the bathroom and I look at what's left in the bowl after, and it looks like apple juice, I've probably waited a long time before having water. I've probably waited much too long before having water. So if you're doing that, then think, okay, I'm a little dehydrated now. I definitely need to get some water. Okay. You can, if you're out and about, go buy a bottle and just down it right there if you have to, or keep it with you and just keep sipping. Um, but you can use that as an indication, a very real indication of whether or not you're hydrated. Now, the one time that it isn't really working that well is when you're really caffeinated, your body excretes water. And so you're your urine will look more clear, but the water is not getting into your cells as much. So you're probably gonna have to have a little bit extra water. Now, when you have a cup of coffee, there is water in the coffee. So, you know, you might need to drink a little bit extra, but as long as there's water in the coffee, it's doing something, right? And it's the same with an energy drink. But if you have, you know, a normal can size and there's 300 milligrams of caffeine in there it's gonna be it's diuretic right it's gonna take care of some of that water it's gonna shoot some of that out so you're gonna have to replace it just try to keep that in mind with your your caffeine intake again my rule a pint in the morning and then a pint with every meal and then another pint if i have a workout uh, that has proven to be really really simple at least for me i'm a 180 pound five foot seven male um, the, I don't know what the, um, uh, foundation is called, but the general recommendation these days is about 3.7 liters. I don't know how many ounces that is about 3.7 liters of water for men and about 2.7 liters for women. But in general, the rule is Use your thirst to guide you. If you get really, really thirsty, you probably waited too long. If you get a little thirsty, um, take care of it right away and you'll stay well hydrated, you'll feel good, and you won't pee apple juice.